Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about social media follower predictions with the help of machine learning. So welcome to AI Sciences and let's get it started. The first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, you know open up your Jupyter notebook or your Google Colab. Then we'll start importing the libraries. The first library that we are going to use is pandas. So let's write pandas as pd. After that, the second library that we are going to use is matplotlib. So for that, I'm going to write matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And other than that, the two libraries that I'm going to use are seaborn as well as numpy. So let's write import seaborn as sns and import numpy as np so let's import them and let's move forward right so now i'll show you the data that i'm going to use and the data set is regarding the social media followers right so first let's write pd dot read underscore csv and in that i'm going to write data one dot csv so let's do that and uh, other than that what we are going to do is we are going to drop the last row of this you know and for that what we are going to do is we are going to write data dot drop and in this i am going to write data one dot tail and after that i am going to write dot index and also write in place is equal to true so let's run that and at the end i am going to i'm sorry data one dot this is not data one this is data sorry sorry okay so let's run this and after that what we are going to do is we are going to check out the head so let's write data dot head and after doing that what is the next step the next step is to showcase it a little bit and to plot the followers that we have right so as you can see we have followers gain like right here followers lost right here and net followers and followers totals and all of these things right so what we are going to do now is we are going to uh, showcase the followers with the help of a graph right so for that let's write plt dot figure and in this i am going to write fig size is equal to 15 comma 10 right and after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write sns dot set underscore theme and in this i'm going to write style is equal to white grid and after that what i'm going to do is sorry i was supposed to plot here as well so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write plt dot title and in this i'm going to write the number of followers gained right so number of followers gained right just like that and after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write sns dot bar plot and here i'm going to write x is equal to followers gained and y is equal to period and period right so at the end what are we going to plot we are going to plot the data so this is the bar plot that i'm going to show you so uh, let's do that there we go so this is the plot that we are getting 
दिस इज सिक्स थर्टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड देन सेवन थर्टी वन एंड देन एट थर्टी वन देन द नाइन्थ मंथ देन द टेंथ अलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ एंड देन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट सो दिस प्लॉट टेक्स द लास्ट डे ऑफ एवरी मंथ राइट सो एज यू कैन सी दीज आर द मेन यू नो द फॉलोअर्स दैट वर गेंड एट ईच मंथ राइट सो इन द सेम वे वी कैन ऑल्सो प्लॉट अ लॉट ऑफ अदर थिंग्स एज वेल राइट एंड जस्ट लाइक दिस वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन ऑल्सो सी टोटल फॉलोअर्स एट द एंड ऑफ ईच मंथ राइट सो जस्ट लाइक दिस वन देन वी कैन गो फॉर दीज टोटल फॉलोअर्स राइट rather than uh, you know followers gained we can go for total followers and in the same way we can go for followers lost as well right so we can do all of these customized plotting that we want with the help of this right so after doing this plotting what i am going to do is i am going to use an other module that is called auto ts right so let's search in from auto ts import auto and then ts right and after that what i am going to do is i am going to perform machine learning with the help of this model right so model is equal to auto ts and then what i am going to write is i am going to write forecast underscore length is equal to 4 right other than that i am going to write frequency is equal to infer right and other than that i'm going to write ensemble is equal to simple so let's write simple here right and after doing that i'm going to perform the fitting part of this so let's run that now i'm going to perform the fitting so model is equal to model dot fit so of course this is the first time that i am using auto ts as well right however we can use this for our work whenever we want right so data data underscore column is equal to period underscore end right and after that we are going to write value underscore column is equal to follower underscore gained and after that i am going to write id underscore column is equal to none so let's run that it is date column not data column so it is saying that follower gained is not in index so let's change that let's make it uh, for the uh, index of our data right so let's make this the index right so for that let's actually do that right here uh, before this after the plotting right so uh, how do we make uh, uh, the data an index so we have to change the you know index of our data right the name of the data frame is data okay that is all right and the index that we want is follower gained right so that is the column name so let's copy that right here and uh, let's run this and now the follower gained is in the index right if we want to check it again then we can again write data dot head and let's see what happens so it is saying that uh, it is going back why is that because i have not written index is equal to true or data is equal to this as well right so let's do that there we go now data is equal to data dot set index this one and now i have this in the index so let's try this again okay so yes as you can see this one is working it did not want me to be in the index the name of the column was not right so i decided to take up the 
column followers lost because this is already uh, you know in the index so uh, without removing that i thought let's go for follower last right uh, we can of course uh, remove it from the index and then go for follower gained as well right so that is not a matter right so uh, there we go now it is performing our training and after that what is the next step the next step will be to perform the prediction and forecast right so for the prediction i'm going to write prediction is equal to model dot predict and after that what is the next step the next step is forecasting so for that i'm going to write forecast is equal to prediction dot forecast so here i am going to use the predict function that we have already developed and forecast on behalf of that right so this is the way we can perform any training and prediction uh, whenever we want right so now let's wait until this is completed so what is the advantage of using auto ts the advantage is that we get all of these things right here right so uh, we can get the arima average right here in the same way we get the model number lost value naive right all of these things uh, seasonal naive right so all of these things that are associated with time series uh, you know evaluation are very much important and are available in auto ts which is auto time series right so it is a very good uh, library when we are talking about time series right there are a lot of things that we do not so it's giving an error and it's saying that forecast length is too long so let's change the forecast length to one and let's see what happens with the help of that now we'll have to wait a little bit again so let's do that so now that we have changed the forecast length all of the errors are gone uh, then i ran prediction and forecast and after that what i can do is i can just print out forecast right okay so let's print it out and there we go this is the followed last for the next day right so it will be 5.18 of course we are getting uh, not getting this in integer values right and uh, we can change that as well right so in the same way you can also use auto ts to do a lot of time series forecasting that we you want right for your data and it gives you a very legitimate and good results so that's it for now for more videos uh, just like this keep watching ai sciences